Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, Mr. Chairman, uh, we're facing obviously an unprecedented crisis with our budget deficit this year, uh, and any budget document is a statement of our priorities as a society. Uh, the budget document before us today is the wrong budget for the state of Connecticut. Uh, we have not only the spending side here, but obviously its counterpart was passed today in the Finance Committee, uh, where the Democratic budget that we have before us, because it is a Democratic budget, not a bipartisan budget, has $3.3 billion of tax increases, and there's claimed $1.8 billion of spending cuts. So even by the Democratic leadership's own admissions, it is more than two to one uh, tax cuts and $500 million of borrowing to spending cuts. But the issue for this committee before us today is the spending cuts that are claimed, which are claimed to be $150 million more than the governor over the biennium. Or, or about $1.8 billion in cuts. However, in reality, Mr. Chairman, in looking at this and hearing the debate today, out of that $1.8 billion, there's three categories. One is uh, where this committee agreed with the governor and accepted the governor's cuts. That was about $1.2 billion, from what I can see. There's areas where this committee made net new cuts, and there were some good ideas that came out of the subcommittee process, uh, such as delaying our purchasing of a new voting machine, uh, or in terms of shifting DMV hours to make sure we're not paying more overtime. All of those added up were $100 million, $100 million of new spending cut ideas. The remainder of the so-called $1.8 billion uh, is essentially taking away real cuts that the governor made and substituting in uh, the words used by OFA and the chairs today, targets and accounting. Uh, the items that we've gone through that total over $500 million are things like uh, the DSS Husky capitation for $65 million, which admittedly is just an accounting change, not a savings. Uh, things like the lapses for $150 million, where we're basically saying, we don't know what that is. The governor will go find it. She'll figure it out. Things like the agency outcomes that Senator Schlossberg isn't here to describe to us. Things that say, well, you know what? We're going to find $50 million. Why not? Uh, items where we're saying, uh, look at the uh, Medicaid continuum, which I believe sounds like a great idea. But again, we've just picked a number. 100 million. It's a good target. Sounds like that's something we can reach. Nice round number. Uh, other items, uh, the bonding for Town Aid Road, uh, an area where you're now continuing to bond for current expenditures, not spending cuts. Uh, the criminal justice reform, uh, another $45 million that we say, hey, yeah, we're going to find it. Don't worry about it. How? We don't know yet, but it's a good target. You add those numbers up, and the budget before us is fake. It contains half a billion dollars of targets and accounting changes. So if you look at what we're actually doing before us today is we're voting to cut the governor's 1.2 billion dollars and an extra hundred million dollars that admittedly this committee has done the work to find and I applaud the committee for doing that. But the result of voting yes on this today means that the Finance Committee is right. We can't find more savings, and we need to raise taxes by $3.3 billion and borrow a half a billion dollars. Uh, I, I appreciate the work that's gone into this, uh, but we failed. We have failed to make the fundamental changes necessary to do what's right for the state of Connecticut and truly cut spending and reinvent government beyond what the governor proposed. I would urge a no vote on this budget today, uh, and hopefully uh, as we move on, uh, we will get serious about transforming government, shrinking the size of government, and truly reducing spending to solve this deficit. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you, Senator. Representative Hamm.